throw in a little Professor Nuts. Literally 32 grams to a tea, so one full serving. And then to finish it off, we'll just add a sprinkle of some cinnamon in there. And blend that up. So all in all, we have the scrambled eggs. We have the cream of rice. So now let's go ahead and go eat. You guys know I have to do my supplement routine. So we have Heart Plus, Bergamot, Thorn. So it's a thyroid supplement, vitamin D3, K2. We have Matador. So this is going to be for the high carb meals. This right here, I'm going to take. go ahead and take two capsules. We have three capsules of Ravenous, one capsule of Ashwagandha, one capsule of Astragalus, one capsule of Tuca, and then two capsules of the Vitamin Plus. Whole food multivitamin, I recommend it to anybody. One of the best multivitamins on the supplement market. But with this meal, very simple. Typically what I would like to do is keep the fats a little bit higher. Carbs pretty much non-existent in this meal. But since I'll be training at around three o'clock, I have room for two meals and I'd like to get two carb meals in prior to the workout that we're gonna film and show you guys later. All right guys, so we've built up doing some warm up sets. So we're gonna do a super set here with the first set of exercises. We have calf raises on the seated. And then we have the prime leg curl. What I like about using the prime leg curl versus a normal one is the way that the weight gets stuck. Come over here. So this is a beautiful contraption. The middle is like basically putting a pin stack, keeping the, everything relatively balanced from top to bottom. Now, if we throw it here, then the emphasis on the rep is gonna go on the very top of the movement, where here, the emphasis on the rep is gonna go at the very bottom of the movement. So if you have a specific area that's weaker with a particular movement like this, with the leg throw, then we can throw the emphasis on there, depending on where we wanna throw it. So I like personally to keep things here, but I will add a 25 at the top, and then make this my working set. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with set number one. And then I'm gonna build up to four plates on the on the cap ring. We'll do two working sets total at this weight. So now we're moving on to the first main movement, which should be the hat squat for us. I'm building up, working up in weight. Build up eight reps within those and then try to hit a top set. The only difference is right now, I'm eight weeks away from the first show. I'm not gonna try to hinder any myself or cause any sort of injury. So I'm definitely gonna be a bit more careful on that end. But the intensity is obviously gonna still be there. So I just wanna make sure I'm giving my all I may not be hitting PRs, but at this point, it's not necessarily that important. As long as I can match that intensity, max the drive, and continue to push as hard as I can with each and every session, each and every exercise, each and every set, then we're gonna be good to go. We worked up to seven and a half plates. Not a PR for me. I've done way more before. I've gone up to nine plates. But the last thing, like I said, I wanna make sure that my knees are healthy. I, I wanna make sure that I make it through this prep completely, completely injury free. So, but, but, we're gonna fucking go all out on this set. I got eight reps on the last one. I wanna get at least eight reps here, if not push for more, right? So, you know, if I can get 12, be fa fucking fantastic. Uh, but the, 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 the purpose for this one is to just leave it all on the line. Give as many reps as you possibly can and just empty the tank out. So that's exactly what we're gonna do.
Third exercise, guys, we're moving on to the stiff legged deadlifts. The emphasis on this movement is going to be the glutes and the hamstrings. So, if you're seeing how I'm performing it, my goal isn't to come all the way at the top and really squeeze those glutes, but also arch the back. We want to remove the lower back out of the movement as much, as much as possible. Same thing with everything. Build up until you reach failure at a specific weight, the goal weight that we're looking to. The goal is to always beat yourself. It's you versus you with every workout. All right, don't compete against anyone else. Don't go in here for any sake other than to better yourself. So that's always the plan, that's always the goal. And if we don't reach it, like I mentioned before, at least give it your all. That's it. to power you up through the movement. Hard part is over with. That was a good fucking workout, guys. Really fucking good. Alright guys, so we are now back in the kitchen. I'm ready to prepare my next meal. Um, since I'm kind of behind, I started with my first meal around 1 o'clock, which is not normally something that I would do, but I kind of just ran behind schedule with my day and like to make sure that I'm, I'm doing my cardio fasting, which I did. Um, but then I had to go straight back to the gym and I was only able to fit in one meal from, you know, from, from, from basically my breakfast to the training session. Um, so like I said, I'm just playing catch up here, but anyways, we're back. I'll show you what we're going to do. So we have some chopped onions here to go ahead and put some, uh, oil on the pan. This is the coconut oil. We're going to, we're going to basically brown these up first, right? So we want to brown these up and then we're going to add the beef in next and then just start chopping it up and breaking it down. And we'll add the seasonings, the adobo, the cayenne pepper, and the Montreal steak seasoning. I just like this because it has a bit of a that peppery, pepperiness to it. What I like to do is go ahead and measure it on the scale. I'm gonna put it in one big container, measure it on the scale because we have a pound and a half that we need to measure on top of the 150 grams of the onions that we cooked up as well. So we'll put that together, keep them both in mind, and then we'll simply separate those into three because I'm going to eat it in three meals. So let me show you how I'm going to do this. So we have 522 grams here. And then again, we'll simply separate this into three meals. So and then that, and we know that that's a, a basically half a pound with each meal. So I'll go ahead and put this together in with the rice. And then I'm going to add a piece of fruit as well. So now that I'm preparing the meal, we have the rice here that we cooked. This is 100 grams of rice. And then now I need to measure out 174 grams of beef. And that is basically half a pound. 
pre-cooked with the uh, onion. So there we go. And then that's it, look. I mean, super simple. So that way I have two more meals of beef here for another time. And then of course, like I mentioned before, the rice, super easy to prepare. Beef, onions, rice. And then with this meal, we're gonna do some Matador. We got the Heart Plus here. This is a uh, thyrosine from Thorn. We have uh, vitamin D3, K2, vitamin plus, and then some tuca. Oh, and last but not least, ravenous. This is my AD line, health supplements, and then of course, you guys know, we gotta throw in a little bit of sriracha there. And with beef, I love to go with the low sugar ketchup. So we'll kind of just sprinkle it as such. We're too good to go. Beef and ketchup never go wrong. And then normally I go ahead and throw in some spinach or broccoli, but I actually ran out. So we're just gonna leave it at this for now. Money. Just making sure that I'm taking my health supplements every single day. It's one thing I don't want to skimp on, um, you know, because you guys know bodybuilding is not the really the most healthiest thing ever. And uh, so, you know, we have to kind of mitigate things. And this really does help. Keeps, keeps my body healthy. Keeps my blood work looking good. With that being said, I'm actually gonna get blood work done uh, again next week. So we'll see where we are at the midway point of the prep. Okay guys, so we're back at the dining room table and uh, we are ready for the last meal and it is a good one. So my sister had made some protein cakes. The macros are on this are freaking phenomenal. We have one serving of Professor Nuts, which is about 32 grams two slices of the cake. Let me give you guys the macros on this cake per slice, guys. One slice is eight grams of fat, 21 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs. Man, amazing. So I'm doing two, so this is 16 grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs with the Professor Nuts, um, which is only 28 calories per serving. And then we also have some applesauce here. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this applesauce real quick. I just wanted to try some different applesauce is, is just so hydrating and always freaking phenomenal. Add a little bit of cinnamon if you want in there as well. Also the macros on the applesauce is really good too. So for what I have here, 220 grams, 21 carbs. So it's, lot, it's good volume, like I said, hydrating, filling as well. If you guys want the recipe to this cake and you want me to make a video specifically with the cake, let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> so this is definitely the perfect way to end the night. <clears throat> Amazing, good, nice and filling. And uh, it kicks that sweet tooth as well. So, but anyways. That's it for today's video. Today's a uh, full day of eating and some training at the gym. Um, so far, I feel great. Even after a freaking long and tiresome day, I did 50 minutes on the stair mill, 30 minutes of walking on the treadmill just because my friend was at the gym and I just was, hey, why not? And then uh, leg day, leg day went fantastic. Everything felt good. Uh, yeah, so another successful day and uh, look forward to the next one tomorrow. So I'm, I'm hoping I, you know, can keep, get these, you know, keep recording these videos for you guys and uh, show you guys, you know, just the different stuff. Y'all let me know in the comments below what, what, what kind of stuff you want me to fill you guys up on as we continue moving into the prep and getting closer to the show, uh, cause I'm all in with this and I, you know, I'm really enjoying um, getting back to the content, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a like, thumbs up, Subscribe to the channel and until next time, peace.